All right, we back at it, Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. West Coast. We got a uh, West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's getting up in the building right now, a lot of people have been mentioning his name out there, but they probably don't even know how to say his name. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? We got Bino Rado in the house. Yeah, Rado, Rado. I see a lot of people have been saying Rado, Redax, uh, they've been fucking up the yeah, shit up. Bino's in the, in the house with us right now, man. How you doing, bro? Hey, man, holding it down. When it like, what, what's the last person who you did something to for fucking your name up. <laughs> did y'all pack him out or like, what? Nah. <laughs> yeah. It's all, you feel me, you're public and, you know, we were trying to keep it cool, but yeah. we ain't trying to tarnish, you know what I'm saying, no type of reputations off strength of my name. But <laughs> as long as you try, as long as you worried the about attempt, what my name right, is anyway, right. you know what I'm saying? You'll take cool. it. Yeah. Like, so what, what's I mean, been right. the craziest thing that you've heard? Like, Somebody messing it up like, damn, how you get that out of this? Just, nigga really sounding out all the syllables. <laughs> <laughs> they, call me, they call me Ridiox. Ridiox? Uh, Ridiox? Yeah, Ridiox. Oh, that's a real L.A. Unified <laughs> motherfucker. Exactly. That <laughs> yeah, <they're> nowhere. <laughs> so, that's funny. What does the story start with Bino, man? For a lot of people that, that have heard your name, seen your face, and, you know, really been waiting for the music, you know, what, what does that story start with Bino, man? How did you get into this, this, this game, bro? Um, Really, you know, I owe a lot of my success, obviously, to my bro Nipsey. Yeah. And um, really where that started, uh, I made a song. We lost a homie from my hood and from the hundreds, KP. So I made a song called 100 Days, 100 Nights, and there was a lot of shit going on. But the song kind of traffic, like kind of surfaced through the streets, and it was just, I don't know, it was organic. Yeah. And so a lot of times, I hear from Adam. We were just talking about that outside. Matter of fact, I hear from Adam, mm -hmm. uh, All Money In. Yeah. yeah. Adam would tap in, like, you know, Adam, all, he know all the new shit is about to drop and, like, whatever. So he would tap in, like, man, when the time is right, whoopty whoop. Cause we always felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like if I had to fuck with anybody in the game, it'd be, it'd be Nip. Right. And so, I don't know, when it finally came about, Nip just tapped in, he FaceTimed me off Casey Veggie's phone. Crazy. Bro, come to the studio, like what you will. I got there and yeah, we did like, we did a song. But a lot of time, it was like, most of the time I was chilling. Like I was just sitting there, taking notes, watching. Absorbing. Yeah. Just now, how crazy would that have been if you would have fucking declined Casey Veggie's uh, call that day? You oh know what I'm saying? That's funny. <laughs> like, oh nah, God. I don't talk to this man, nigga right fuck now. that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right, backflip shit, man. Get up out of here. <laughs> hey, nigga, life could change in an instant, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I was on my toes. I was taking every call back Every then. call. Yeah. yeah. But he had nothing going. Um, I do remember being in the studio one time, and I think I pulled up, and I believe I, it was, I think it was Nip, it was you, and I think Mike and Keys. Yeah. I think that's the first time I ever met you. Yeah, I remember that day. And I walked in, and he was like, yo, this, he was like, hey, head this to homie Bino. <laughs> I was like, for sure? Like, what's up, man? And you was just sitting there like, for sure, what's up? <laughs> and it was like, what's interesting to me, and, and I, I ended up uh, having this conversation with uh, Emery, Vegas, shout out to Vegas Jones. I had this conversation with Emery later on, but, and he he's the one who put it in perspective. And what's crazy is I related it to the day I met you. But he was like, Nip don't put the stamp on anybody. Yeah. He don't. Like, he'll introduce you to people, but he don't be like, that's my people. That's that's me. That's my Facts. family. That's my folks. Facts. Or he don't, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It's never that. Yeah. He did that when I met you. And I remember when he introduced me, Nipsey is the one who introduced me to Emery. And when he did that to, to with, with me and Emery, he was like, DJ Head is my guy. This Man. is my folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and and right then, Emery was like, oh, give me your phone. Take my number. Like, he was like, this man says you you the guy, then yeah. you the guy. Yeah. And it was just like, I remember being introduced to you that way through Nipsey. And it was like, that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to go look up. And I start looking up your shit and like, right. like seeing, you know, what's going on or yeah. whatever. Um, did you ever, I mean, that, obviously you don't take that lightly. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Man. But did you ever get to a point where it was like, you had a, almost like a experience where like, damn, like he really fucked with me like in this way. Yeah. Has it, did it hit you? I feel like it was, that was the pressure. You feel me? Because, oh, it's pressure. Like, you, like you say, bro, don't fuck with nobody. Like it seemed like almost to a certain extent, like you said, you need a stamp and nobody had that. So it's like, bro, why is you doing a whole album right, with me? Right, right. You feel me? Like, what about me is making yeah, you wanna, okay, what, what about me is making you wanna put out a entire project? You know what I'm saying? If like, you know what I'm saying? We already did three songs, but. Mm -hmm. It was just surreal. Like, I never got used to it. Mm. You feel me? Because I didn't understand it. But at the same time, I didn't want to just go ask, like, bro, why you fuck with me? <laughs> like, <laughs> why you yeah. want me, my nigga? Yeah. Like, what, you... what do you think it was? I don't know, bro. I, I feel just like. Just guess. Knowing his character, knowing your character, knowing, like, maybe it was. I really can't tell you. Like, talent. 
Yeah, I, the talent is there, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of talented niggas, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talented niggas. It was just organic, and I feel like we just didn't fight it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we just caught a, caught a vibe and just ran with it. Mm-hmm. Now, now, for the people that haven't pressed play on you, and this is the first time they've seen, how would you describe your sound for them? Um, I don't know. I like, I like melodies. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I try to keep it feel good for the most part, but I also like to bring in a lot of pain. In my records, I just want to make you feel something. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. That's the key, though. Yeah. yeah. To make somebody feel something with yeah. the music or whatnot. Um, I think it's a way to cut through too. Like you said, there's a lot of artists out there, especially in LA. There's a lot of there's a lot of talented people out here. Yeah. But as far as to cut through to actually make an impression, you have got to have those elements. And gotcha. I, honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why Bro was on you like that. Like, yeah. Because like you said, nobody didn't do a whole project. It's it. crazy. You know bro. what I mean? I can't so I did it. when 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 that was brought to your attention, like. Well, obviously it was it was shock. It's like you know surreal. But at what point did you go into all right? Let's let's get to work mode. Oh man, like well that's the thing. It was kind of like at the same time I had to. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't I couldn't play with it. I could, I'm like this is an opportunity. It's Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. You feel me? But over time we kind of grew. Like it grew into a brotherhood. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And like we just became real close. So it wasn't really my nerves to get the best in me because I feel like every time we went in on a song it came out like a one. Yeah. You feel me? Whenever I was with him, he bought the best out of me. Type. Did, did you ever find in a situation where maybe you wrote your shit first, then heard his shit, and had to go back to the drawing board? Like, <laughs> <laughs> did that ever happen to you? Man, all the time, bro. I'm like, damn, you came with it. But I don't know. I feel like our sounds didn't conflict to mm-hmm. the point of where it was like, let me come again. You yeah. feel me? I feel like we both played major parts, and I did the best I could. You feel me? This is the thing I looked up to, the thing I listened to in high school, right, bro. Right. So it's like, man, if, if you saying I'm up to par, bro, I'm going with what you say. I'm just following your lead. Did that help with your, with confidence for you? Like, man, just the fact that you fuck, the fact that I'm here. You mm-hmm. feel me? The fact that I was in his studio every day mm-hmm. was like, I'm doing something right. What were you doing prior to being in the studio every day with him? Like, that you could talk about. <laughs> 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 I got you. Uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I got yeah. you. <laughs> I'm live. You know, we were still doing the music, but it, I ain't have, we ain't have no, 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 no. We know what we was doing for real. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just us. We out the streets, out the blue records. That's our independent label. Nice. So we didn't we didn't know exactly where to go. You know what I'm saying? With Nip, I, f- I always call him a cheat code. Because mm-hmm. it's like, you know what to do. You know what could happen if you go this route, go that route. Yeah. But before that, we was grinding. Like, we, we was in the streets, but we was, we was grinding like, as far as music goes. We was trying to take this shit to the next Did level. Did you already have, like, a studio that you went to every day and had that level of commitment, or yeah. was that after the fact? No, nah, we had one. We okay. had one. Uh, my big bro, Tay, actually bought one. And so, well, he was renting it. We leased it for that year. And so, we was in there. I was sleeping out of there. Yeah. We was, you know what I'm saying? Just going in. Blinded. We had a whole team of motherfuckers from South. You know what I'm saying? We was just kind of. You know, what did the violent. studio smell like? <laughs> <laughs> Funyuns. Like yeah. oh That's crazy. When we started talking about that shit just now, I, used to, I thought about what it smelled like, too. Because oh <laughs> yeah. I, I said I sleep. Because everybody, everybody had that story. You sleep in the studio, and he's been yeah. there a couple days. He'd be like, <laughs> All right, yeah, you going to go to your baby mom's house? and what like, you doing? Catch yeah. your vibe, man. Go oh get a God. shower or something. You know? It'll bounce back. <laughs> right. It'll bounce back. <laughs> right. Because you don't feel it when you in it. Right. You don't know. Hell no, you didn't think of it. Yeah. Damn. So okay. So so in the recording process prior to obviously linking up with Nip, like you you started forming your own way of doing shit. Like how 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 would you do? It? Like what was your what was your studio process? Like getting into it in the beginning. Um, I used to write. That's a trip. I used to write my songs. Really? Which which you don't hear people say that nowadays. Yeah. It's more like kind of just off the top. And that's what I do now. That's wow, what I'm saying. Wow. I thought I'd never be this nigga, bro. Really. But I had to because I'm wow. like, you know what, what, what transition for you? What made you change from writing to actually going off I'm the like, top? Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. West and, you Coast. Know, I'm going to keep it 100. Them niggas on the South, bro, they mm-hmm. figure something out. So <laughs> I'm like, bro, I got to keep up. I can't be the nigga in the studio looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like trying to rush. So did you have an experience that led to that? Like when you in the studio with somebody and saw them like, oh, shit, everybody ain't got to pick a pad yeah, but me. Like I, I, I figured that out early, nah. like jumping into this shit. My bro Johnny Cinco from mm-hmm. Atlanta. He taught me a lot of shit early. Right. And so uh, I would see his process and I'd take notes. You know what I'm saying? But he was telling me, like, niggas ain't out here right. You're going to pull out a pad. Niggas going to laugh at you. <laughs> so you did it more, more so because you felt like that was the wave and not necessarily because you were comfortable. Were you, were, when you did transition, did you find it difficult, though? Like, Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. But it, it's, it's, once you get in the rhythm of it, it's a big confidence boost. Mm-hmm. You feel me? To just go in there and vibe out. Yeah, nigga don't write. 
Yeah. Just, just to say that shit, like, yeah, nigga, don't write this shit. You know, I freestyle yeah, on freestyle. shit. You know, you know <laughs> I freestyle my shit. Get the fuck out of here. It's all off top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so do you, are you, are you melody-based first, or do you have what you, coming f- as a writer, right. are, are you melody-based first now, or is it you already had the words and the lyrics, and then you kind of hum the melody out? Melody first. I go in the booth and just mumble. Just you know, to come out. Come up with shit. the melody and yeah. the words. Damn, that's... Hey, that, that's like you said. That's got to be a confidence booster to be like, man, fuck it, I can just yeah. get it off the top. It's like man. a vibe, like it's like. A, and now, how, how many songs can you record in one night? Probably most I done did in one night, like seven, eight. Get the fuck out! That's a whole project. Yeah, probably most songs I done complete, did or is just like, are oh, these are kind of like the ideas? Complete, complete. Get the yeah, fuck out of sure. here. For sure. Cause I'm, um, something I always wanted to t- ask you about is obviously, I mean, this is back because you know we, I'm trying to catch everybody up, right? People who probably have never seen or heard of you before, never heard your music, whatever. Yeah. The No Pressure Project, uh, like, it was like, it's it's Bino and Nip. Right. Bino Nip, Bino Nip, Bino Nip. Davies. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck did that record come from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, I know, and, and I, I just I just recently had a conversation with Dave about, shout out to Davies too, because he saw me at the, uh, at, in that, I saw Dave East at, in Atlanta for the BT Hip Hop Awards, yeah. and I was wearing my shit. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. I was wearing my my Nipsey shit, and he was like, "You got that shit on, huh?" I was like, <laughs> "You already know." He was like, "My nigga, it's the West Coast." Straight up, you know what I'm saying? I fuck yeah. with Dave, but um, did you like were, when y'all was putting that project together? Was that an intentional thing? Like, oh, we hey, look, we gonna we gonna just put this record in here. This ain't our shit, but it's going on here. Yeah, like I mean, what was that? How was that? how did that come up? It was that. That's another thing. Was organic. Like Nip had rented No Name Studios for a month, and we was just sleeping in there. We didn't leave. And so that's when we was really working on No Pressure. And East just pulled up one day, and uh, he had that song, and that's the song I had to beg Nip, like, bro, let me do this hook, cause that's not the usual shit you'll hear me on. I'm like, bro, let me do this hook. I promise. And so we did it. East came, and it was just organic. Uh, Nip was sleep. Nip was sleep. <laughs> but East was just in the studio. I'm watching. It's really the. One of the first times I've been around him, we did Clarity. Yep. But, you know, this is one of the first times I'm tapping in with him. But that's my bro, Dirt Gang. You know, we coming. But it was organic and it happened. It was just fire. The record was fire, bro. And it was Fuck a good it. connection. Let like, it run. Yeah. And I was happy to be in the middle of that. You feel me? That's yeah. dope. Ooh. Do you re- do you ever think about, like, um, like what you would be doing if it wasn't for music? I try not to. Oh, Yeah. Not, not, not in a way like, oh, I'm like, I'm gonna quit music and do this. But I'm yeah. saying like, damn, I, I, like, I would like music. Like a lot of people say, especially from where around where we from, like, music saved my life. Facts. Or you know, music allowed me to not make my mind cry and like things like that. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I definitely be doing some bullshit. I feel like I'm not really. I don't know. I don't know, bro. What the fuck I'd be doing? Like it, cause obviously the plan wasn't always music. Yeah. So what was the plan before music? And then do you see anything beyond music at this point? I tried the nine to five before music. I was really working in fashion. You know, I'm in the fashion, mm-hmm. and so you know I done worked at a uh, diamond supply, um, just warehousing and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I was really into that. You know what I'm saying? But it's always been like creative for me. Right. You feel me? Cause you know I'm in the streets, but I like to. I, I want to expand. They want more. You feel me? So it's always been the creative side of things. You know, I feel like the fact that you know that, yeah. Because like, sometimes, it, even when, when again, we we talk to tons of artists and just just people in, in general that are on the that trying to get into the business, right? And they don't know what direction they want to go in. It's yeah. like, well, pick a pick something, figure yeah. it out. But the Facts. fact the fact that you knew fashion was like at least the line the, the lane that you wanted to go into were kind of prior to this or while you were doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? So right. the fact that you have like a passion for something, yeah, it, it gives you a, you know, a step ahead of other people and shit. What's been the reception for Bino like um, musically as far as uh, not not fans, but like other artists? Like cause obviously we know Nip is an early believer. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. know you fuck with Blast. But like peer wise, have you noticed being accepted more now? Than before when you first started? For sure. Now okay. now it's love. At first it used to be, you know, I don't know. Or, Using you know, your feelings a little bit? It's just like, what's, what's this nigga on? For real? <laughs> you feel me? But now it's, now it's love. You know what I'm saying? It's all, And it's always been, you know what I'm saying, respect. You feel me? But now I feel a lot more. I see a lot more. Do you think you're getting your just due right now um, 
with the I mean it's a, it's only been like let's be fair it's only been it ain't you don't have that much that many bodies of work out like right. that for people to be like oh man his third album was trash exactly. or like you know what I'm saying but exactly. I'm just saying based on what you've done so far do you feel like you getting the just do that you earn right now um I mean of course you know what I'm saying I'll be tripping if I said I felt like I got everything I deserved but I respect the grind more you feel me exactly so it's like I don't know it's whatever it take you know what I'm saying niggas ain't gonna fold we're gonna keep it rolling what's, what's what's been the 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 toughest the toughest time for you um throughout this whole process like what's what's obviously we we obviously know that you know nip passed and that shit was just tragic for the whole city for you what, what's allowed you to kind of get past that and still record like cause I, I can only imagine like that's that shit is tough um like, so what makes you get back in the studio and do do your thing I probably didn't get in the studio for about a month like after that three weeks at least mm-hmm but um, it's just the fact of doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? At that time, I had a daughter that was due probably two yep. months after. Wow. You feel me? So it's like, nigga really ain't had time to sit and play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm mourning. But it's just like, I'm not going to come out and just, oh, let me do a party record. I'm like, I got to say something. Yeah. So I made the song of all things, which mm-hmm. was dedicated to bro. Yeah. And um, I don't know. It's just like, what would he want a nigga to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, keep keep going. You saying that fueled that along with, the, the the arrival of your daughter yeah it was like the the, the perfect crazy. combination it was, it was extreme high extreme low yeah a bit of sweet so i named my daughter victory oh like again in dedication to bro wow how is how is because chuck just had a kid too yeah he, well, he's like man, a one year old i don't see okay first Tyrant. of all wait, wait. <laughs> first of all <laughs> let me let me let me let me say this I, how old is your daughter it's five months tomorrow perfect all right once you get to a year don't do that bullshit. 13, 15, 17, 25 months, just she a year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my, my son is a year. This is when he asked, my son is a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't know. He's passed. I don't know what, what fucking month we in right now. <laughs> just a little little dad advice for you, real quick. Yeah. But but that that's that ultimate motivation for you, man. It's like you you see your daughter when you wake up and it's like, okay, gotta go. Gotta get, get to it. it, man. She gotta come up better than we did. Yeah. Has that how has that changed you? Um I don't want to say emotionally, but how has that changed you with being connected? Like, because I noticed, like, something that I always, well, first and foremost, I do see you posting your daughter. Like, I see that shit. Yeah. I want to salute you it's for amazing. that because Money. black men get a lot of bad press yeah. on not being fathers in our children's lives and shit Facts. like that. Facts. Shout, I had Offset up here. I told him the same thing. I wanted to commend Facts. every every man of color for changing that narrative and, yeah. being, and you know, taking pride in being a dad. Chuck I appreciate the same it, yeah. But, um, has how has that changed you with being with with like man be kind of like leery I guess of of connect human connection because like in the streets you'd be like man what's up with them or like yeah. who you know him or who car is that exactly but now that you have a daughter I would assume that it would shift a little bit or no yeah drastically I feel like because you know at the house I'm mushy you know what I'm saying I'm joking <laughs> I'm doing bear growls all time. <laughs> you feel me <laughs> oh big bad you know, doing bear growls you feel me? Yeah. at the house but um you know I definitely want her to be well informed of both sides of the world you know what I'm saying the good and the bad just coming up just so she not out here playing stupid are you gonna teach her the truth about things are you going to like how, I'm curious I don't have a child yet yeah and I have this I I have this idea of how I'm gonna raise my kid when yeah. I have one. Yeah. And Chuck is like, I'm telling you that shit's out the window. You gonna change up? <laughs> you gonna switch up? Like you gonna yeah. be doing bear growls? You gonna be doing the same <laughs> shit too? You but at, the, at the same time, I don't I don't believe in sheltering. Nah. Not so at all. so I want her to be exposed to a lot at the same time, but I want to keep her safe the best way I possibly can. But I just want her I just want her to have some knowledge. Yeah. You know are saying? you gonna tell her? Are you gonna tell her the truth about like Santa Claus and like? I mean, till I'm like, till she like eight. I feel like eight. That's a good age. Or why? Where you just, get eight from? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, ain't even I feel a like five eight. or ten. <laughs> this is just eight. I feel like that's when I figured it out. You know, what I'm saying like eight years old. But I don't know. I'm gonna let her figure it out. That Tooth fairy. Yeah, I'm. We, I'm putting the coins up under the pillow and all that. Damn. You got, you, man, that's, that's I just a, don't know how I'm gonna react to it, so I'll be asking other fathers because I don't know what to do, my nigga. It's I'm part just, of the I'm game. Just, yeah. It's part. Of, I feel like it turned into you want to see how they gonna react. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can't oh, wait to see how the kid gonna. You doing it for their reaction? Yeah. It's oh. it's fun, bro. It's I'm fun. glad you. I see. Thank you. I'm glad somebody's able to break it down to him because sometimes <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a having these conversations. Bro, He's like he's a he's literally a robot. He's not he has no emotions, no <laughs> yeah. feelings, anything like that. And that's the the whole balance between us what, what makes us work so well. But sometimes I'll be tra- like, my nigga, this is this is how it goes. Like, I don't get it. 
So the fact that you actually are, are, are breaking through, then this is this is no, amazing. no, that that makes sense. You do because because the same reason I start buying um flowers for women, I was yeah. like, this shit's stupid. I'm not buying you no flowers. The girl I used to talk to, she wanted sunflowers. I'm like, they just gonna die on your table, my nigga. Like, <laughs> why, 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 why I'm buying you flowers? That's yeah, stupid. Yeah. I get you some brake pads. I literally bought her <laughs> for her birthday. I bought her some brake pads. I shit you not. She needed it. That's yeah, that, yeah. Her brakes was fucked up. It's squeaking. So I bought her brake pads for her birthday. And I'm like, why would I buy you flowers instead of brake pads? But but you just do it because it makes them happy. Yeah, that's straight it. up. But did you straight rap up. it though? Did you rap? I'm it? not rapping shit. Not the brake pads. I don't rap nothing. I don't rap gifts. But anyway, <laughs> that's another story. Um, I want to talk about the six tape real quick. Um, first and foremost, Blast is probably one of the most talented people For sure in the city. I told I'm, him. I'm gonna say that publicly because yeah. I told him to his face Amazing. multiple times. Amazing. Come to death row, <laughs> but not nah, fucking. <laughs> no, no, but, but um, but yeah, no. I think that y'all two together is a dope marriage. Obviously, I was telling you about Savage. I like the video too. I I, I saw the video. Sure, um, you look bored in the video. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you got to work on your uh, on your on your entertainer face. <laughs> yeah, that video. I, yeah, I was slump. I was. Uh, you was high or what was yeah, you? I was high. Was or you stayed thing. up all night, you know, with your daughter. Yeah, I, I was fresh on daddy mode, but I was high as a motherfucker. Okay, yeah. Lie, that so day, that's yeah. the only critique I'm gonna say, you know. <laughs> you gonna see, you gonna see you got, a few videos. I gotta see the progression, bro. Yeah, I'll be, yeah. My nigga, my drug <laughs> face is <laughs> different. We, 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 I gotta I, keep yeah, it real yeah, with yeah, you. No, we gotta keep it. We need that. Yeah. It wouldn't be DJ Head if I didn't yeah. tell you to your face. You yeah, know I'm, what I'm saying? keeping it hundred. I was high, man. Yeah, you. I, you was in the video like <laughs> <laughs> my saucer was <laughs> slow motion, like. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, you I gotta, gotta watch that back. Oh god, but yeah. What 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 sparked the um the collaboration, the project? Um, well, I tapped in with Blast. Uh, I think I first heard him uh, fuck with Kaylin. Yeah, like, Kaylin. I'm like, who is this, bro? Like, was, he was like, Blast, but I didn't know he was an artist. Yeah. And so we was getting beats. I made on my soul. I made a few records with him, and it was just like, man, I'm gonna keep fucking with you, bro. We gonna lock in. And so he sent me a song one day, and I hear a nigga start singing, and I'm like, it was savage. Mm -hmm. I'm like. This you, bro? He like, yeah. I'm like, this shit crazy. Like, so after that, he was just like my favorite artist. We just kept going, sending shit back and forth. We did. We only made like three songs together, like actually in a room together. Mm. And so, yeah, that's another thing. It was just organic. I fuck with him. We trust each other. It's easy. Like, it's easy making music. With so them. when you, when you get to the point of collaborating with somebody like that, and you said it's organic, it happened with you and Niv, it happened with you on Blast. At what point do you say let's do a project? Is it after three or four songs is made, or is it? Yeah, you get four hot ones. You like, mm. bro? We might as well. Lock in. Yeah. And then are those four hot ones the part of the project, or you start from after four? After you record four, we start new with the project. Uh, well, me and Blast, everything that we recorded together was on the project. Got you. Okay. So, yeah, we just heard four. We like, bro, let's put out a tape. Oh, we're going to call it. We're yeah, gonna, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, six, well, six songs. <laughs> yeah, six songs. <laughs> <laughs> I can see niggas in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> How many songs on there? Oh, uh, yeah, we doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the tape. Fuck it. Yeah. I got another tape with four songs called Four. Honest <laughs> to God. Honest <laughs> to God. Mino, listen. Get the fuck Come out of here. Mino. Hey, think smart. Work smart. What, okay, what, what, how you say it? Work exactly. Work smart. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Think, how about that? Think yeah, smart. Work, work smart, not hard. It's four songs <laughs> and four tapes. What's, think smart. <laughs> what's the uh, biggest critique that you get from your team? And, and how receptive are you to the criticism? Um, I used to, uh, I feel like I used to be in the show, like, really. So, like, I'd be in this interview, I'd be talking like this. Right. I like in the Savage video. <laughs> <laughs> I was high, bro. I, 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 I was high. All right, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you alone. Is, is that naturally you, though? Are you naturally, like, a it quiet, was. reserved person? It was. I really had to work gotcha. out of that. And just, you know what I'm saying? I learned off experience. Mm -hmm. Teachers can tell me nothing. They had gotcha. to show me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I don't know, just really dealing with it, being in it, it's like, damn, and seeing other niggas, you know what I'm saying, your peers in your same field, like, how niggas is moving out here, you like, bro, you can't, you know what I'm saying, can't be timid out here. Yeah. You gotta really get it. And this was like years ago I learned this. Get it. So I feel like that was my biggest problem. And I mumble, you know what I'm saying? That's my life. But <laughs> you gotta you, loosen up, you know? Yeah, like when I talk, I mumble sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But in, in the booth, like a lot of times you can't understand me, I'm mumbling, but I just move off the vibe. So right? are you a mumble rapper? See, I, do, I, 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 mean, <laughs> I mean, you said it. I'm just asking the question. But, see, I, I'll be singing though. I'll be singing now. So I, you I, feel I me? understand that. It was just a, you know you yeah, said throw it out there. First yeah. R&B mumble nigga. Yeah. Fuck it. it. Unintentional it. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unintentional. It's your yeah. shit. It's your shit. Uh, let me ask you this: when when you working on music, do you already have a song idea, or do you go off the the the, the production? Um. Like, are you you sitting down writing re writing records no, no, without no music? The production, for sure. Okay, so it's the production. I feel like that's the whole basis of the energy, the beat. You know what I'm saying? You figure out where you want to go. I look at every 
like showing a project as a place and you can see where you want to go or how you want to approach, you know what I'm saying, this certain song or whatever. So definitely the beat. What what do you think is the most vulnerable song you ever you ever done? Um, of all things, for sure. Well, not obviously I, uh, outside of that. One. Not counting that one. Um, it's probably some new shit I did. Uh, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Um, as far as what's out, if it's not out yet, that's fair. Because I was gonna ask you because I we I, we have yet to see who Bino is. Yeah. Like you said, you in your shell. And I didn't hurt that. Yeah, for sure. So I, that's where I was going with it. I want you to like explore and like let people know who you are like yeah. what you stand for what you about what you don't fuck with exactly that's, see, that's that's the whole message behind on my soul because you know i would hear that and it's like okay i want to let niggas know really what it is mm -hmm. and so i put out the single on my soul and I was, that's the title track for the album i keep pushing the album back so i want it to be perfect yeah. but i feel like that's where you really gonna get your songs and me bleeding it out you know solo project yeah my first real album i didn't put out mixtapes yeah my first real album though I'm trying to come correct. Like, is it is there something that's off limits or that's challenging to write about when it comes to uh, putting out content? Nah, because I feel like I mean, if I'm gonna put myself out there, I might as well go all in. All in. Yeah. Yeah, man. Damn, nah, because I think that that's usually the most challenging part about it. When when you're getting over, you, you kind of mentioned the whole writing thing. You know, that was a challenge for you, yeah. but you figured a way through that. You talking about not necessarily, you know, you you're naturally a quiet person or you know, kind of reserved. You figured a way through that. The next step, obviously, in getting to know yourself, like, what are the things that you may not necessarily talk about to a lot of people? You Facts. know what I'm saying? So it's like those are the, the records that probably people will want to hear. Yeah, definitely. Even more so. And I feel like that's that's a lot. That's really what the album is based on, I feel like. um, so And I want to talk about, I meant to talk about this earlier, but going back to it, I remember I saw a tweet. And I wrote it. I had saved it. Um, <laughs> You said, I'll never forgive my city for this one. Facts. And that was in response to obviously we us losing Nip. Yeah. And you said, I'll never forgive my city for this one. When you say that, I know I noticed I, I saw like a lot of the the back like people responding back to you and shit like that and they were upset because it's like, oh, it's not the city, it's this yeah. and that. And but I don't think people understood what you were saying. So I if was you wanna, coming. you know, take the opportunity to clarify that because I felt like I felt I feel you. Yeah. What on what you were saying. Certain shit we can't let happen, bro. Like, I feel like that's something that, you know what I'm saying, as a city, certain shit shouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Right. If it's a nigga, like, this, this is just me. I can't speak on everybody else. Mm -hmm. But if, if it's a nigga on the other side or from my hood or whatever, and he is, is like, a staple, like, if head from a hood and we enemies, bro, I can't, I got to respect it just because he's so important and he a major part of the success of my city. Right. You feel me? We look weak right now. Yeah. You feel me? Like, no disrespect to nobody, but we look weak as fuck. Yeah. This nigga was, come on, bro. Like, he was hope. Like, this nigga was really hope for people, yeah. I yeah. feel like. So, as a city, we were supposed to protect that man by any means. Like, nobody should be able to fix themselves to want to bring that man no type of harm from the city. Right. I feel like. So, when I say I never forget a city, I love my city with all my heart, and I'm going to rep it to the end. Like, it's West Coast. But I feel like. We need, I don't know, like, I feel like we need better code. Like, we we need more code, really. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit, that shit can't happen, bro. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. Um, Do you have a, a release? Or you say you keep pushing it back. <laughs> yeah. But. When do you feel like you'll be ready for the album to be out? Do you feel like you have enough music as of right now, or is still? Should is, we ask somebody else? Yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Okay, how about this? What's, what's, let's what's, ask the homie. What's, you what's, what do you feel like is missing right now? <laughs> Look, bro, I got, like, no... No cap, I got like at least forty songs sitting right now. So what's missing right now? Just the structure. So right. you got forty. So let's just say out of the forty songs, you have the album. Yeah. It's just picking the right records, or is it recording more shit? I don't know, bro. It's like overthinking. Nah. Like it's just I don't know. It's the out. My first album got to be crazy. Nah, I get it. I get it. It, like, it makes it makes how, sense. How important to you is the the content of the album? versus people fucking with it. And what I mean by that is, like, you could put out an album full of just bangers. Yeah. And people, like, people will fuck with it. All right. But you also, like we just talked about, you want to give people who you really are in, really. In, in depth of yourself. So what's the balance? Um, I feel like, I don't know, you look at the greats and you look at their first album. Exactly. And it's like, bananas. It's like, you can't even, I don't know. It's it's unbelievable that this was these niggas' first album. Yeah. It's the classics. You got Illmatic, Nas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, 
the Jay Z joint with Dead Presidents on it, and all. like the first, I don't know. It gotta be. I want niggas to come back to this shit in like fifteen years. Like yeah, like this was him. Like what album do you listen to that was a classic? That's one of the first albums. Uh, probably Ready to Die. Mm, that's interesting. That's that's the first, first album, right? Ready to Die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ready to Die. Because then it was Life After Death. After yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to like bang that, just waking up type. Is that the first album that you bought with your own money? Nah. What was the first album you bought with your own money? Uh, no cap. I wasn't buying any shit. You know, I came up in the Lime Wire. Right, era right, right, right. True. And all that shit. Um, I probably didn't bought some off brand, like, no disrespect, like some random shit, like Nelly or some shit. I think I'm going to just buy an album. Right. Generic. Right. Yeah. You know, acetaminophen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought just... ibuprofen. I didn't buy the Advil shit. <laughs> Fuck that. <I'm>... <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> oh, it's some random shit. You know, you would have stored your mom. Mom, give me this. Oh, let me get this. Right, yeah. right, right. Oh, yeah. Wow, That's man. funny as hell. Damn, no. I was, I was wondering that because usually when it, when it comes to it, some people are gifted albums and some people. Because I remember going into the store and buying dog pound dog food. I remember yeah. like that specific moment, like saving my money up to do that. Straight up. I keep forgetting that we old heads. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, he had money. Nah, uh, okay. I okay. had no money. I was bootlegging everybody's shit. You. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He was not bootlegging shit at eight years old. No, and not, I wasn't in the music at eight. When I, by the That's time I got I'm, the music, I'm I was saying, burning CDs. Yeah, got, sure. What I'm saying is, at what point, you had to buy an album at one point. I think I, I bought. I, get, I think I, I bought. Burning, I think I bought. I, I think I bought Marshall Mathers LP. The, the reason why I say that. Once I got why? enough money. Why? Why did I buy it? You I saved. Think I, I think I wanted the book and shit. You saved up your because you could have. You could have burned. You could have bootlegged that one. You could have burned it. Yeah, but I think I think the ones that was getting burned, they were all like distorted and fucked exactly. Up. There's a reason why you <laughs> yeah. did it though. You know what I'm saying? Same yeah. thing. There, there's there's reasons why people like you know what I'm saying. Take the time to do that shit. But I I, I was just wondering because sometimes it, it holds value. With that particular project, you're saying it was just random on your end because yeah. they said Miles is right there, like, hey, Miles, get that shit. I think my story really, um, you know, I like Odie's a lot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I, I bump Sly, I bump like real, like Odie's. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just associate that with certain, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like fan, like a family uh, Functions. Call it, uh, reunion or something. Yeah. Like you got a song, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Frankie Beverly and Maze. Yeah. You're going to associate that with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm big on that. I ain't never really just bought nobody's shit for was your Was your family into music? Are they anybody, like, on that end, talented, singing, you know? I mean, my pops used to rap. Your pops used to rap? <laughs> yeah. He said it like he was weak. Hey, hey, hold on, you know, wait. Hey. What was the, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, hold on. This is, this, is, this is interesting. Hold on. This is interesting because, you know, was he, was he somebody that was established in the sense of his music is out there? Like, did he have an album? Hey, the homie looked like he heard some of your pop shit. <laughs> oh, and that shit was weak. And hey, my pops looked just like me. He looked just like me. No, look, look, what? check it out. And hey, pops, I love you, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> check it out. My pops, I only heard his shit on MySpace. He showed me his MySpace. <laughs> and this was current, like recent. Like, oh, shit. Recent. But um, his right name is O, like O O H. <laughs> and my mom said he used to pager, like, Oh, 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 yeah, like oh, oh, like that was his shit. And you ask him why, he like, cause you know I get on the mic and they say, ooh. <laughs> so he really one of them rap ooh. niggas, like one of the ooh, old heads. Like one of the old heads is telling you, like, man, what you doing? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so he, he's he's the this old head, like saying, what this. you doing right now? We yeah. talking about your pops. Wait, hold on, time. Man. So your pops name? <laughs> that, that, this is hilarious. His name is Ooh. His name Raul. Ra- okay, but it's Oh Oh. His wait, rap wait, name. wait, wait, wait. Your pops' his name is what? Raul. R A O U L. Raul, Raul. No comment. Raul. Is, wait, okay, first of all. He said R. He put R-A-U. two vowels next to each other. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> tell me all. Hold on. His rap name was O. O. O O H. O O H. Like if we if we if DJ Head looks in the computer right now, like go on YouTube. There's a song by Ooh. You ain't gonna find nothing on YouTube, oh, my man. What about hey, Vito had all that shit take down. <laughs> hey, y'all used to have me out here looking. Like, I feel like, I feel like, because me and my dad won't talk like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like once he saw like this shit going uh, on, he kind of took all this shit down. Like, yeah. Because a moment like this, that nigga was, go, he was about oh, to I'm look him up. Right <laughs> up. Oh, God. That's, yeah. That's so my that, pops, though. I love my pops. That's, a, that's amazing, dude. What's, um, <laughs> last thing, last thing. What's some, obviously, we waiting on the project. We're going to keep waiting until, you know. You drop another one. Sorry for the wait. Forte. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but 
what's something that hasn't happened for you yet that you look that's that you look forward to happening as far as like musically a collaboration um maybe somebody tapping in with you is there anything like that um I don't really look at the specifics. I feel like I'm more so generalized and I just want more. You know, uh, I don't really know what it is after this, but whatever it is, you know, I just want to feel something new out the game. You know what I'm saying? I done felt this. Or I ain't really headline no shit where it's like, oh, this is my crowd. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that I'm looking to put together some shows like later this year. You got to put out the project for that. I know, but <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying? Me and Blast just want to fuck them. They've been asking for it. Oh, you into the... Okay, I get what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, so I, I'm talk, I think you mean... You want just a crowd for just Vino. Oh, no, no. Well, not. I feel like nah. that's cool, too. Nah, I'm gonna I'll, yeah, I'll that's that. cool. Yeah. But I'm, well, you know, that I'm going to share with my nigga Blast. Course, you know what I'm saying? For sure. We came correct this summer, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we both deserve it. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite artist. But I feel like just, I don't know, I done did the big stages and all that, but just not on my own time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I feel like I want that. And that Savage Challenge was going up, too. A lot of people doing that shit, too. Uh, the, oh, yeah, the Savage yeah, Challenge. Yeah, that's something Blast too, came with. Blast yeah. came up with that. Amazing. Um, what again, kind of on that same sentiment. First thing I would say, get specific. Yeah, get specific on what you want because set some goals. Man. Set some goals. Only reason why I said that because we, we, I'm gonna ask you the question right now as well. We, we've had a gang of people sit here. And we've asked them that same shit. Like, yeah, what's one thing? I'm gonna ask you, what's one thing you want to do before the year ends? And literally, we've seen that shit happen every oh, time. Shit every, happen. Every, every, every time. Damn near every artist or everybody that comes up here that says what they want to do. Is, I don't know if it's something that for them they don't they don't want the pressure of damn I, I said I was gonna do this shit and I do it or then manifesting it or goal set it's whatever a manifestation it is manifestation exercise yeah. bro yeah so um, first of all get specific with that don't don't just generalize it's good to generalize but get specific on what exactly that you want because when you do get it you be like damn that shit happened did, and it's gonna yeah. it's gonna allow you to dream bigger on the next thing the next thing so I'm gonna ask you you know what's what's one thing you got to make sure you do before the year ends the year can't end without being on doing what. Um, I'm gonna say this is this. I, I posted this on Instagram, and I don't never post shit like this. But uh, it's a nigga named Burner Boy, y'all familiar? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. I need a feature from Burner Boy. There you go. Nice. That's Facts. A, Burner Boy is nice. crazy. Fire. Yeah, I bang that nigga like niggas bang Future. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Like that, Burner Boy hard. That, that's what it's about. That know. shit is what it's about. Like, put it like out that. there, bro. Yeah. He'd be watching this shit one day. I don't know why, but <laughs> you, yeah. everybody tapped in. Yeah, yeah, like, everybody. Who the funny looking ass niggas interviewing me? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. Also, too. Um, last thing, what's something? What's a piece of advice that you've gotten from you know Nip that stayed with you through this whole like until this day? Like, what's something that he that you he said to you that stuck with you? Um. Uh. Just really, I feel like the story, or the all around basis of what he was teaching me and coaching me about, was that you can have longevity, or you can be here and gone tomorrow. You feel me? So you really want to be a longevity artist, meaning, you know what I'm saying? This shit might take a minute. This shit might take a lot longer than a lot of niggas you know or yep. who you see around you or whatever. Mm -hmm. But just stay down and um, really focus on the content. And content. Yeah. That's what's up. You want longevity. So, you know, I respect it. I stay down. Hey, you're going to be here for a while, bro. I, I see it. I mean, I, I, I see that obviously the talent is out there, but just just your your energy. Just you got some good energy, bro. Yeah, so, man, I try to keep it cool. Um. <clears throat> The, the project again, going to the, the one with you and Blast, Six Take. Six Take, yep. Support that, stream that. Um, we're going to wait on the album. Yeah, we're going to wait on the album. <laughs> Continue to wait on it. Is there anything else that you're you going to drop your album the same day I go back on a diet? You know what I'm saying? Same ne day. Never worry. 30 seconds. <laughs> never worry. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell the people uh, out there before we wrap up? Yeah, man. Don't listen to head, man. Don't <laughs> the album. The album I'm just coming. giving you a hard time, bro. This is your the first time. The album coming, man. This is the initiation. No, nah, but they really mad because I've been pushing that shit back for so long. I was supposed to drop like last year. God damn, bro. Yeah, so the album coming. But um, there's 40 songs as of right now. You just got to yeah, trim it down, figure it out. Shit down. So just drop all 40 songs like Chris Brown. Yeah. Nah, don't do that. Why not? Yeah, you know, like 40 goddamn damn songs. Just stream it. I ain't listen. No, no, never mind. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he learning. He learning. Yeah. He learning. Vino, man, it's good to Shut see the you, fuck man. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Let, let people know how to get in contact with you as well, man. How hey, can they at Vino Redoux, that's at B I N O R I D E A U X. Fuck with me on all my socials. Absolutely, man. It's Homegrown Radio. Chuck does with DJ Head, and we out. <laughs>